So, ladies and gentlemen, um, welcome. I'm James. Some of you may know me um, from Jet330. And together with Chris at Cockpit Concepts, we've been working over a long period at trying to get an MCDU to work. And um, today, it's nice that we can um, show you some results. We've done some final bug testing, and uh, hopefully I've ironed out all the bugs. So I'm going to turn on my inverter, and I'm going to show you what we have achieved. So it will be noisy, but it's because it's real aviation equipment, um, and it's underneath the desk. It's just underneath there. So bear with me a moment. So this is an MCDU from an A330. I was very lucky to get hold of this. Uh, I've got a pair of these for my particular sim. However, it will work with MCDUs from the A320. And hopefully in the not too distant future, once we can iron out some communication issues, it'll work with 747, 767 and be compatible with PSX. So there we go. Straight away, we can see it's taken the IDENT page from GHAL. Um, and uh, it, it works exactly like you would expect. Uh, if we go onto the init page, we've got our pages here. So at the moment, I'm on the ground in Manchester. So if I put Manchester in here, and then we'll go to Gatwick, you can see it's taking the inputs with no delay. Uh, the scratch pads is also working. We had some problems with that, but that's been ironed out. Uh, it's got quite a rapid update rate as well. You can just throw stuff in here. Uh, Oh, no, I'll tell you what, just for Chris, we'll put his call sign in here. There we go. Try to move around too much. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Lots of colours. All the colours are supported from the MCDU. Um, if we go into flight plan, for example, we'll go from Manchester, departure. Uh, we'll go 2-3 right. You can see we've got yellows. That's an orange, green, light blues. Uh, Sandba, it should all change colour. And then you've got the greens here, the stars for your restrictions, discontinuities. I mean, this is just all the uh, G Hell uh, support, but it's all nice to see it in place. If I then put Honley, and then go temporary flight plan. You can see everything's gone nice. I say nice, nice and yellow. And then we just throw that in there and it works fine. There's a secret button here. This is originally designed so that you can take a VGA input into a real MCDU. Most operators don't use it. However, for our purpose, we have repurposed it and that is the GHEL button. So we've got the GHEL access to TCAS here. Um, for those of you that don't have uh, a transponder perhaps yet, uh, we can go back. We can have our weather settings as well and you can fiddle around with your display settings as well if you wish. You won't need to use this because it's all done directly in the MCDU. So yeah, it's uh, it's all working very nicely, even uh, the button repeating system. So you, you press once and it gets rid of one character, and if you press and hold for over a minute, a minute, a second even, it'll clear the whole scratch pad. So exciting times. Um, Chris is going to work on a price for the board and hopefully he'll have this into the shop in the not too distant future. Bye for now.